Okay, that should be better. Yay, there we go. Hi, everybody. Let's start again. Hi. <laughs> Sound back. <laughs> you don't look very happy, are we? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm Kate, and this is Elf from Indigo Blue, and we're here to do a Facebook Live. Um, last week, when we were on the craft store, we sold out of our ephemera in 30 minutes. So, we 13. have actually. 13. That's what I said. Good. 13. 13. 13. 13. 1, 3. Does it matter? No. <laughs> Not to some people. <laughs> you have to stand up a bit. <laughs> Do you know how long he's had that t-shirt? A long time. A long time. I trolled the internet to try and find a replacement for him. Couldn't find it anywhere. Not anywhere. Not with living the dream on. So if you own a t-shirt company, get in touch because he's had it about 40 years. Got it when I was this big. Yeah. yeah. Just a twinkle in your mum's eye. Yeah. <laughs> You've had it since you were a baby. Yeah. So um, what we're we doing, yeah, ephemera sets. So we're going to have a look at the ephemera sets. I'm going to show you some of the artwork that the DT did for TV last week because they always get a really quick showing. So I'd just like to quickly show you some uh, of those again. Um, actually, when I start off, there's a box over there, that blue box, mm -hmm. have that one as there's well. There's also a discount code. Look, just there. <laughs> well done, you can point. point. Discount code, special Facebook Live giveaway. Like, comment and share as usual. And of course, we are giving away lots of lovely things. But you're giving away all six sets. That's very generous. One, one times. Just all one. Six. Just one person will get all six sets. Now, on the craft store, we only had... Three. Three, did not? Oh, mm -hmm. right. Okay, so we only have three on the craft store. So we've got three exclusive to our web website. So you're going to get... Oh, she says, dropping them. Ahead, well, we'll we? show them overhead, no problem. There we go. So all six sets of yumminess. Oh, okay, so I will show you them in more detail. Um, so hello to everybody. And um, just come and uh, look at me. Uh, look at the... Look, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't. <laughs> Come to the other camera and I'll show you the other all, the, all, all the ephemera. But first, yeah. I'm going to show you some lovely new samples. Okay? Alrighty. Come on then. Come on. Up we go. Oh, how exciting. A blank piece of paper. <laughs> Not for much longer though. Okay, so we have, oh, that's nice, like that, with the, so these stamps that we had on last week, I'll just show you them if you're wondering. So we had uh, raspberries, really typical sort of indigo blue, absolutely adore these stamps. I just... I can't do that. Can't do that because it goes out of focus, Alfie says. I've only been doing it a few weeks. Yeah, I've only been doing it a year or so, just, just sack me. So those are the gorgeous st uh, stamps, sunflower bloom, raspberries and apples, quite easy. So those are the lovely stamps that we've been using. And um, could you get me that other box please, darling? So I've got loads to get through, so that's one of the ephemera. And um, that's by our Lorna, our lovely Lorna. And they're all coming to see me this weekend. Well, some of them are, because we've got our retreat. Oh, look at this. Oh, all beautifully stamped. And lots of little pullouts. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. A lot of work going to this. Beautiful. And pockets there. That is so lovely. A bit closer to you. Oh, sorry. That's gorgeous. Now, who did that? One of the girls I'm sure will show us. Um, yeah, Alfie's always generous with his giveaways. And uh, Ellen says a stamp's arrived today. Yay, that's brilliant. 
I love that. I love that. I'll, I'll add that to um, my demo, uh, if that's okay with the girls. And I love the fact that you've got all this texture from Kerry. That's gorgeous. Something really... Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look. That's so lovely. That's beautiful with all these pockets and everything. That's gorgeous. And that's our Leslie. Um, oh, this is nice. This is nice. Let me just move these out of the way. Give these to Alfie. So this has got a lovely belly band on and beautifully stamped. And those stamps were actually used as a background as well. They work really well. In fact, I think it's the apples that were used as a background. That's really gorgeous. And our Vivid Sprays on here. So you can see the Vivid Sprays, which are gorgeous. Move it down a bit. So first of all, this is our Kerry. He's done a lovely job of this. I love, look at these little pockets with the ephemera in. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Just little bits and pieces, just beautiful. Just lovely. Oops, out you come. Isn't that beautiful? Just scraps of gorgeous papers, beautifully torn. Yeah, love that. Absolutely love it. That's beautiful. So that's a really good example of how you can use your um, ephemera and put a belly band around that. Um, and um, this was the demo I did on air as well. So just stare at that while I just get some more samples out. So this is lovely by um, Carolyn. Carolyn Lakin. Could you take these off, please, mm -hmm. darling? Just put them on the back. Thank you. I love all the different layers that she's done here. She's used um, our embossing powders and the sprays and layered it up with all the ephemera and some stamps and everything. Love that. Oh, don't you just love sunflowers? So that's our Leslie who's done that. I love the way she's actually used the centre there and just taken out um, odd little bits. This is Lorna. And so she's gone from doing something so lovely like that to beautiful and simple, clean and simple, she's done. And then Carrie's got us a clean and simple one as well. That's just lovely, isn't it? Just a hint of, hint of colour on there. Um, and then we've got a shaker. And of course, loads of detail on that. I think the name's come off that. Do beg your pardon. And this is our Carolyn. So I love the fact that she's actually gone with the um, vintage colours and then just done a, a, a highlight, a spotlight there. And then we have monochrome, which I think is gorgeous. And this is Lorna's monochrome. So this one was Kerry's and this one's Lorna's. Oops. Which are really lovely. Now I really like this. This is this is me, Lorna. Thank you very much. I love this. So she's actually used our true grit, which is our texture paste, and through a stencil, one of our stencils which is just gorgeous and then she's actually stamped all of this onto our rice paper and put it over the top with our slap on obviously when it's dry added a bit of water coloring with our translucent paints which i think she's probably used some of our oh they're just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and highlighted here with of course a bit of luscious um and then I just think that's lovely. Well done, Lorna. That's gorgeous. And then you get something simple and beautiful. And that, you can see the spark of the luscious on that. And the same with this. So this is Kerry. Uh, and then we've got, oh, I like this too. Really simple, but how beautiful is that? That's our Lorna. Thank you, Lorna. Thank you, Kerry. Mm. Leslie, well done. That's lovely. Oh, so we've got some ephemera here. Oh, look at this. Isn't that lovely? So uh, I think 
Sue's done that. Yes, she has. So Sue's just made a beautiful notebook. That would make a lovely present, wouldn't it? Uh, get a strip of uh, magnetic on the back, and then you can have that on your fridge with a beautiful... That's um, clear embossed, and then she's used our paints and our luscious to just highlight that, and that's some of the ephemera. Gorgeous! I love the vibrancy of this. Caroline, thank you so much. That's beautiful. And then we've got another by Sue. I love the splashes and the luscious. That's beautiful. Do you know, there are so, so many. I can't show you them all, but let me just show you one or two more because this one is gorgeous. So simple, so beautiful. And then you have this by Leslie. And I really, really like the uh, stamping, cutting out onto the book pages and look she's got barrow there barrow full of apples lovely really lovely that well done yeah let me just check it it is leslie yes it is so we have some and then okay one more <laughs> just just one more look at this so you've got a gorgeous stepper um on lots of pockets i love it love it love it love it i love stuff like this and that's by Caroline. Isn't that gorgeous? So, what are we talking about? We're talking about these ephemera sets. So, let's do them one at a time. So, this one is the Art Nouveau pack. Oh, don't we just love Art Nouveau? Absolutely gorgeous. It, you know, the thing is, it's absolutely timeless, Art Nouveau, isn't it? It just, you know, I've loved Art Nouveau since I was a teenager. And I had posters on my bedroom wall. I know everybody else had Bay City Rollers. I had Art Nouveau posters. But aren't these gorgeous? And I love the fact that they are printed on both sides. And I have to say that these are designed um, by our friend Ian. Um, what's Ian's surname, Alfie? Campbell. Campbell. We just we just say yeah. And he is a star. Um, in a past life, I think he was graphic designer. And look, at, just look at that. Is that just gorgeous? Um, and he is um, also the most amazing um, steampunk engineer of Vern Industries. But these are just gorgeous now these are actually printed by himself and hand cut so these don't come halfway across the world um you know from a mass produced factory these are really small runs and they are just look there's just loads and loads and loads of them and of all course the ready all the way from north yorkshire that's right <laughs> so our um our um, eco-friendly um, yeah, air, air miles are very very low very low indeed so yeah they haven't traveled very far at all so those are just your art nouveau which are just delightful okay so you can pop those in there so what we're going to see next are the vintage adverts now this is what i was using last week they are just so funny as well. So you've got to take the time to read some of these because they're really, really <laughs> just so funny. Um, made from an effervescent spring in Germany, passing all the medical properties of the side lips powders. <laughs> Practice that. Should have practiced it. Yeah, I mean, you you know that um, I can't read very well. Um, <laughs> Domestic sewing machines and Florida water. Oh, don't you love that? Florida water. They just, I love that. The Nosegay by T.C. Williams and Co. Richmond, Virginia. So we do have some um, lovely um, American, North American fans. So some of these are from you guys. You see, I love this one. Look, I've put this on the front of my 
book here. That's just gorgeous, isn't it? Riddle's Ferment Gum. Oh, Valentine's. I love this one. Take your dog with you by rail. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Again, all double sided, all ready to fold. Lots of different sizes as well. That's what I love. I think this is my favourite out of this set. It's the West Pier at Brighton and it's a postcard. I just think that's really, really lovely. Wishing his son a, a happy birthday. Uh, oh, sorry, a Merry Christmas. Love from father. I think that's just really a beautiful, beautiful set. Um, they are absolutely delightful. And I think Kelsey's got a special offer on them. So the code for it is just, just here. So use EP20 for 20% off. Nice. Like that. Today only. Today only. Yes, of course. Of course. So again, lovely postcards. So this is the floral set. And of course, you definitely need a floral set because, I mean, they're just gorgeous and you can use them all the time. I love the fact that they've got these ledges behind. And as I say, you've got different sizes to go from. So these are going to be great for making little books. Um, they're great for decorating your journals, for layering up. And he's really put some thought into these. Look at these. They're, they're just gorgeous. I love the ledger. That's really nice. And beautiful, beautiful floral prints here. Just loads of them. Carnations and yeah, so peonies. Sure all my creations. Absolutely. They are really, really wonderful. Um, and we work with them quite a lot and it's joy, an absolute joy to work with them. Okay, so this is a new one that you won't have seen um, that was on the tie last week. This is the Vintage Travel. So this is the first time I will have seen this. Well, apart from when I was with my Canadian for lunch. Oh, they do a wonderful lunch. Oh, nice. <gasps> look. Oh, look. I love these. These are lovely. Oh, yes. 1930s. Cunard. The railways. Czechoslovakia railways. Oh, these are fabulous. Really 1930s. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I can see using these. Pan Am. Those are lovely. Oh, yeah, loving those. And you are too, by the looks of it. They're all beautiful. Absolutely, they are. Thank you. Oh, these are good as well because he's actually done you some corner pieces so that you can tuck things in. Those are great. Then you don't have to be chopping things up. So they're already done for you. And I love the fact that he gets lots of circle ones as well. Yay, San Francisco. We've been there. Loved it. These are great. Oh, yeah, I'm loving these a lot, a lot. Oh, I dropped one. I dropped one, sorry. The only way to travel in style. White Star to Canada. Wow. Love them, love them, love them, love them. <laughs> I'm throwing them all over the place. Okay, bear with, bear with. I'm only under the bed. I'll come back. <laughs> Sorry, Alfie. So this is our vintage florals. Now this is gorgeous. So the other one was called what florals, Alfie? Uh, floral ledger. Floral ledger. And this one is vintage florals. So, ooh, nice. Oh, these are gorgeous, aren't they? J for joy and for memories. Corner pieces. Yep, love those. Oh yeah, after friendship. 
see for create. That's for shine. Oh, for love. Love, love, love. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you know, he's so clever. He really is. These are just to die for. They really are. I need every single packet of these. Yeah, these are really lovely. Gorgeous. And lots and lots of little ones. And finally, now this one I haven't opened. So this is our Grundy Steampunk. And you know me, I love a bit of steampunk. Just a little bit. Oh, oh look. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, vintage fan. Oh, the background's beautiful. I have actually mentioned that background before to, to him. That is stunning. Oh, I just love these. I need these in my life. I definitely need these in my life. These are... Oh, my God, look. Look, it's a robot. Look how big. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh. Oh, I just... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are fantastic. I love this. Oh, we could add more colour to these. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I love all of these. See, the great thing is they're all so different. Did you notice that? There's no repeats. That's what I love. You know, they, they're just all different. There's no expense spared on designing all of these. You can tell that he loves doing this and the ideas just flow. Oh, these are just to die for. They really are. Oh, look. Oh my goodness, those amazing, amazing. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you're right, absolutely. Loads of hearts going up for that. Um, yeah, huge amount in each pack. Yeah, you do get a huge amount in each pack, absolutely. So uh, I only had about an hour or so to start throwing this together. So this is a um, prayer book that was going to um, be thrown into landfill. And my friend uh, Freema saved them for me so that we could use them um, for journaling and all sorts of lovely stuff. So I started just putting some of these in here and um, I just thought they were look absolutely beautiful. So I love the fact that you can have make little pockets really easily, put some of your little bits on and... Um, just just do whatever you like. I've put a little bit of ribbon on here to make it a pull through and lots and lots of beautiful little bits and pieces. So I love that. Take your dog by rail. And then we've got my favourite of this one, the West Pier. So um, this beautiful thing, I think if it's all right, girls, I'm going to add this to um, my little prayer book journal as well. So what do we have? Let's just empty out um, my bits and pieces. So I love book pages. Um, I've got some bits here that I put texture paste on, so those will be useful. Um, that's a journal page. I'm not going to do that today. I'll just do some bits in here. We've got a bit of this. We've also got some coloured papers. So that was mopping up after after I'd been inking. Um, that was uh, a piece that I did last week on tally and just used up bits. This is mopping up as well. And this is mopping up. And that's mopping up. So we've got some mopping up pieces. Um, and we've got some solid pieces here oh look we've got that that could go on all that you see that's the thing get all your bits and pieces out look look all bits and pieces just chuck them all out on the on the desk and see what we've got so i've got some bits of words I've got some more of that papers, which is nice. So these sort of colours will go with the vintage florals, I think. 
quite nicely. Ooh, see? That sort of thing is delish. And these are the vintage florals that I was given. Oh, you see, I love these. Look how you can add beautiful bits to these. So this was just a piece of my um, paper that my design papers that I had lying around and you see how this is falling apart so I just used some strong tape just to um, pop that back together and of course then you can always put some paper some book pages on to strengthen it so it's quite easy to do just get this on here so what should I use? Let's use some um, slap it on matte medium. So Christine's asked, can I ask what the sentiment says? You are question mark special. You are very special. Very so special. so this comes from the raspberry plate. Um, play on words. It is a play on words. I yes. <laughs> you taking the Michael. <laughs> so yeah, it goes with the raspberry one and it does say, yes, you are very special. <laughs> oh, you could cut that out and just say you are special. So there, there. <laughs> Alfie is being really horrid. <laughs> so yeah, you can always sort of uh, strengthen and repair um, pieces like this. So let's just push those to one side and let's just get some um, matte medium going. Oop, there we go. So it's best if you turn it upside down like that and then slap it on as the name suggests. And then just let's do a little bit of a repair job on here. So we're covering up the Sunday service with a bit of polyjuice potion. Oh, now that's a good point. I forgot to actually put, put it on the this page as well. So what you need to do is when you're using a uh, matte medium or our slap it on mat, Put far too much on there. Um, when you're using these old book pages, they are so dry, they just soak up um, the medium. So you do need to put it on both pieces of paper. And I actually then go over the top with all of that excess as well. And that gives you a good working base as well because <clears throat> then if you put any colour on top of this it's not just going to soak in and bleed out everywhere unless of course you want it to do that. There we go. Okay so that gives you a, a nice basis, a nice start. So let me just move that out of the way. I've got my, got my medium all over it and put that upside down and then you can you can see it okay Janice so this has asked if you've removed some pages at the beginning um i did i did remove some um which is why there was a, a bit of a, a a piece there and then if it gets a bit too thick yes i will sort of find an, an area and, and take some out um but i'll, I'll just make sure i take a, a signature out um and they're quite fragile, so all the ones that um, were falling out anyway, I obviously took those out. But yes, along the way you will end up taking quite a few out. So um, here's one little piece that um, I had left over. So we can start off by using that. So to make it into a tag, I'm sure you've seen this before, you take off one corner and it's just asked like which this. Tag you're using. Which pack. So these are from the um, floral set and then this one here is from the 
um, you know, the adverts one, what's that one called, Alfie? The perfume adverts. Art Nouveau perfume label. Perfume labels. Art Nouveau perfume labels. Okay. So I've cut off one corner. You just flip it over so you get the mirror image on this side. And then that way you'll get an equal cut along there. And then you've, you've got your you've got your tag. Um, but I think that probably needs cutting down a little bit, just so it's uh, a little bit longer and thinner, like so. And then what you could do is if you wanted, you could just cut into there. Just looking for my, my knife here. And these are great for putting a, a little slit across. Just let your knife do the work. And then you can see that you can make that into a little pocket. I love doing things like this. Just messing about with bits of paper. Love it. And whilst this is wet, actually, oh, what's going on there? That's, that can go on there. And I'm also using grab and go because this is quite heavy card. It's watercolor card and then it's had paint on it. Oh, that's a new one. Let me just get my other one out. And I've just opened it a tiny weeny bit just so that I get a nice thin scribble around here. So I think this is lovely. Oh, it's me. <laughs> you just hit the wrong button. Yeah, I press that button. <laughs> Which is quite nice. I quite like the um the border of this and again this was just left over from something else that I did not quite sure what but there we go special guest appearance the saying yeah. <laughs> there we go and let's just make something um, to go in this little pocket here. So I think, um, what have we got out here? Oh, this lovely little, oh, that won't quite fit, but that's a beautiful little one. That's really nice. So we could have this. Um, and we need something for that to go on, not too big. So what have we got here? So this is the lovely vintage florals. Oh wow, these are gorgeous. Yeah, nice long thin one will, will do. There we go. That I can cut down, no problem. That would fit beautifully, wouldn't it? There we go. And could you just give me my punch, please, Tony? It's in that cupboard behind you. Just like a normal hole punch. So these will look lovely layered up, I think. And this one can go in here. But I think we need some more, more layers going on in in this would be just fab fantastic is that gorgeous okay so we need to leave just a normal hole punch on the left hand side no just a normal hole punch don't you dare give me everything else that's in that cupboard apart from a hole punch i know what you're playing at it's playing silly beggars thanks darling <laughs> He was about to give me everything else out of that cupboard apart from what I asked for. <laughs> I've 
after 25 years together, you'd think, you'd think that I know what you're up to, wouldn't I? <laughs> You're such a big kid. So there we go. And I've actually glued that all the way around so that just that pocket is free. There we go. Okay, so we can add some little bits of, oh, we've got a bit of ribbon here, that will do. So just fold that over, put that through here. That will do quite nicely through there. If you want to make sure, because it's satin, that's going to come undone definitely. So you can always just put a little bit of a decorative staple through here. Oh, did you staple. glue the lace on with your glue? Yes, I did glue the lace on with my glue because um, it's good for fabric as well. Um, I do like little bits of lace coming out. Um, here, there and everywhere. I'm sure I've got some bits of, yeah, here we go. We've got some bits of ribbon and lace and everything. So that would be quite nice. Just let me just, uh, I'm gonna pull it, tear the page. No, I won't. There we go. So yeah, the, the lace, and this is quite heavy actually. So I'm just putting a few dabs on there but it does hold um it does hold really well because it was i devised it to hold mdf so you know it's easily going to help hold this that's a waste of all that gorgeousness isn't it oh i know i'm just tearing it all apart now but this is it you can change your mind because i have to confess i was so busy today um i didn't have time to um to prep so you never know. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> oh dear, dear me. Honestly, it was quarter to four, and Elsie said, um, "You do realise you, you you're live in fifteen minutes." So I went to put some slap on, i.e., makeup, <laughs> and uh, and then just decided I would wing it. So I'm, at least I'm honest. <laughs> at least I'm honest. <laughs> Okay, so loving that, loving this. So <laughs> nice warm day here in South Yorkshire. Perfect day for just lounging around and a bit of crafting. Obviously, oh, that, that won't do. Let me get another brush. So this is from the um, florals set. What you're laughing at now is giggling in the corner here. Okay. Nice. <laughs> what do you mean, Annie needs some pep? Do you mean some Coke? Oh, right. Pepsi Max. Oh, right. I need some Pepsi Max, I tell you. <clears throat> I'm out. I'm not, I don't, I'm going to rip that off. Don't like that. Yes, I know it's ripped it, but hey ho. And I don't want to cover this up. I might just do a tiny little one at the bottom. Okay, so let's do, let's do your special. We're not going to do your very special. I'm going to do just your special. So I'm just going to tear around the words. So 
So I put my thumb on the bit that I want to save and then I just tear the rest. This is on woodcolor card and I've just put a little bit of um, Mulberry Bush, really, really diluted on here. So let's go with this and then I'll use some grab and go because this is quite heavy cardstock. There we go. And that'll go nicely. Oh, Annette received, oh, it's gone. Received my beautiful stamps from the latest giveaway, but not yet had a chance to use them. Many, many thanks for that. Oh, you're welcome. See, we really do give stuff away. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. All right, I wanted to show you how to do a little um, thumb folder. So let me just put that slightly to one side. Yes, we are going to use that because that's beautiful. Um, whoever did it, thank you. So um, you can, if you, of course, use any of these, but they really need to be a horizontal. But you could use this. You could use that, actually. That would look work really nicely. Julie likes your nails. Do you like my nails? Thanks, Julie. Did them specially. <laughs> Although working today, I've already chipped them. Can't believe it. I only did them last night. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut, um, we're going to fold this into thirds. So I'm just doing it by eye, basically. Um, round about. Um, so you want this side to be want this one to be smaller. Oh look, it worked out perfectly. There you go. That looks lovely. And of course you can use, sorry I've got glue on my fingers, then you can use a bone folder. Don't know where mine is. Oh it's in front of me somewhere. Bone folder just to secure that and if you wish you can use a hole punch just to eyeball this, just to punch about halfway across. There you go, and that's your thumb hold. All right, so now either that can fold out and you've got things tucked in here, or you can open it out completely and have something tucked in there, which would be quite nice. So I think we will do that because that would be lovely. See that that goes beautifully and I think if you have it hanging off the edge as well I think that works out rather nicely. Okay so that's far too much glue. So I'm going to just smear that on the inside. There we go. And then we need something for the inside that would work quite well. That's lovely. That would work. So I'm going to just use that part. I'm going to make that into a little bit of a tag. So this makes a really lovely little folder and you can do it with any scraps of paper and it's a little bit fat so I want to make it a little bit slimmer and longer. There we go. So the glue's already on here which is good and if my stapler was working let me just check whether it's working. No it's not. Needs a bit of TLC. could always put a little bit of, where's that ribbon gone? There it is. Obviously, you know, use different stuff, but this happens to go with everything. So hopefully this is going to work. Drat. Oh, 
and this is when you get out all of your bits and pieces that you've you've bought um, especially all the bits and pieces that you bought on special offer I know you lot you do exactly the same as me you think oh that's a good that's a good bargain I think I'll have I'll have some of that so what I'm going to do is just put a hole through here put a hole through here and go in with oh it's too fiddly too fiddly oh, I'm not really good with fiddly stuff but I'll try there you go phew okay so you've got that in there like so but then also you can actually put something like this in determined to use this this is just lovely Thanks whoever did it. It's beautiful. And that can be a little pull out as well. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to put it in there like that. And so you've got something in there as well to go on the next page. I don't think that's suitable. So we'll go on this one. We'll put some. Um, what Sally's, time is it? Sally's asked where you got the thumb punch from. Um, this is a um, X cut one. I've had it for donkey's years, absolutely donkey's years. Um, but it's it's really nice and easy to use. And I've got quite a few different hole punches. Um, just see what they um, oh, Who would have these? Tonic should have some, I think, I would have thought. Uh, Woodware used to do them, but they're no longer. Um, What's it called? Um, it's a hole punch. Cir circle hole punch. Alfie's finding out for you. Okay, so this beauty here. Oh, that was more, more luck than, uh, <laughs> than judgment. So that can go there. That's going to look lovely. And I think it would look good if we actually have it coming out of here. So what I'm going to do is just put... Um, something in between. Craft stash, I've got them. Craft stash, I've got them. Oh yeah, that's brilliant. What's the address? Craftstash.com. Craft .com. .co.uk. Ah, craftstash.co.uk. Four ninety nine. And there, ooh, that is good because I mine was about double that. Four ninety nine. Very good. <laughs> that came on at just the right moment, didn't it? Okay, so instead of putting a slit in here, because it'll be difficult not to go through and everything, I'm going to um, make a little pocket out of some book pages. And yes, of course, I'm going to use my um, Harry Potter. From the charity shop. So I've just folded over these these edges here. So I'm just going to just make sure that that does actually fit in there quite nicely. And then I'm going to use my grab and go. So the lovely thing is you can make loads of bits and pieces like this just to hang over the top of your journals, um, whether it's you're making a, a memory book, um, anything like that is going to work really, really well. Um, 
cards as you could uh, as you saw with some of the cards that I showed you from the DT they made some really lovely layered pieces and um, and I particularly like going around them with the sewing machine so if you could imagine sort of these all layered up they would look really beautiful over the top of just a card it would just look gorgeous don't it and you see that will go in there and then this could go on here let's just put a little bit of beautiful book page on or let's put a little bit of, of this on just to layer up again I'm going to use my grab and go so just a little bit now the grab and go as you probably saw if you hold it down if it's not too thick because um, obviously if you're putting on lace and stuff like that then it might be a little bit thicker um, and then it takes longer to dry but if you hold it down for about five seconds on normal paper to paper then it's it's good to go so with this piece here with a bit of a little bit of glue there for the lace I'm just going to have that just coming off the edge so that you can see it when the book's closed so that'll grab quite nicely and I might just have another couple of pieces of this now when you're putting stuff in the book you don't want to put it right in at the centre there move it out a little bit then the book's got a chance to actually close back because obviously you're adding layers to it and that's so pretty there we go so that's going to go in there but the world's your oyster with this it really is so I'll give that a few seconds, 1,000, 2,000, 2,000, 1,000, 5,000. But I'm going to be here all night because <laughs> this is just so much fun to make things really, really pretty um, or not, or grungy. So that obviously needs something in there, but I love the fact that you've got nice little pockets to put. You know, I've got loads of stamps that would work so well, little verses and things like that, bits of um, mindful quotes and little bits here there and everywhere I just think you can have so much fun with them Yay! and just lots and lots of layering and use all those bits up as well you know this is like um, think of the happiest things it's the same as having wings so that was something that I stamped up it was in my box of bits and you can start making something really lovely. Jeanette so. thinks you have the most soothing voice. Oh, thank you. you to do some like, hypnotism. <laughs> did I, did, does that mean that I send people to sleep? <laughs> In my youth, someone did recommend I went on the radio <laughs> because I had a face for radio. They said. <laughs> Oh dear, it's a good one. I'm not very good at jokes, but there you go. <laughs> I'll leave that to Alfie. Okay, so there you go. Um, that gives you a few little ideas. Um, I really love the ephemera. Um, yes please buy some ian is a wonderful artist and uh, and so is mike obviously um yeah it's lovely to uh, support a fantastic small business um so buy one of each <laughs> you will love them and of course remember up here um to like comment and share so you could be in with the chance of winning all six ephemera sets um and uh, of course if you're going to be buying all the ephemera use that uh, item code there which is ep20 so when you get to the checkout there's a little box and you put it in there 
Um, it doesn't matter whether it's lowercase or uppercase, does it, Alfie? No. Because it'll still work and it'll take 20% off. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Um, I'm going to be on a secret retreat this weekend teaching all my lovely girls in person. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Um, hugs all round. Hugs all round, definitely, even with my face shield on. Alfie's looking at me. No hugs. <laughs> well, when I've been tested and I've got my face shield on, surely, mm -hmm. can't we? Okay. It's optional, obviously. Um, got the hug. Yeah. <laughs> the hug's optional. <laughs> All right, guys. See you soon. Oh, does that mean I'm off next Monday because uh, we're doing the retreat? Or am I going to be... Might do a quick one on the... Um... Oh yeah, we'll do a quick one on um, the new box kit that I'm going to be launching on the 30th. Yeah. So um, I will do a quick one um, because um, I'll be having a day off after the retreat, be recovering. But I'll come and see you. Don't worry, four o'clock next Monday. Bye for now. Say bye, Alfie. Bye. Bye.